the Eurasian landmass is going to be hollowed out, if you will. And three powers are going to emerge on the periphery of Eurasia. Or more precisely, they have emerged. One is Japan, which is truly the center of gravity of Asia, not China. Uh, it is the second largest economy in the world. Unlike China, it does not have a billion people living in sub-Saharan poverty. It is unified. It has the largest navy in Asia, which the Chinese envy. It has a military larger than the British. This is a substantial country that prefers to stay out of the limelight. The second country is Turkey. Turkey is now the 17th largest economy in the world. It is larger than Saudi Arabia. It is the largest Islamic economy. And whenever uh, Islam merges into some sort of coherent political entity, which it hasn't done for a century, Turkey is almost invariably at its center. Uh, Turkey has by far the most powerful and effective military in Europe, if we can see their part of Europe at the moment. Um, its influence is felt in the Balkans, in the Caucasus, in Iraq, in Syria, uh, in Central Asia. Uh, the Turks are influential everywhere in their region. Americans know it quite well. So this is already the leading power of the Islamic world. And it's going to get stronger as it goes on. The third country is one that's going to be the most controversial, of course, is Poland. Few people know that Poland is the 18th largest economy in the world and the eighth largest in Europe, and by far the most dynamic. It is also a country very much afraid of two other countries, Germany and Russia. Two of these powers are maritime powers. One, Japan, is utterly dependent on the sea lanes for the import and export of its products. And those sea lanes are controlled by the United States. Turkey is going to be a major Mediterranean power. It always is when it arises. The United States has a particular hostility to any maritime power. The United States controls the oceans. And its view is that that is the foundation of its national security. What will happen as these powers become more maritime is the United States will become more hostile toward them. They'll be quite happy to be left alone. The Americans will be more hostile. Uh, in the same way that Japan allied with a power far away, Germany, in World War II, there are two powers that have a natural interest together. One is Japan and one is Turkey. Each of them want to be maritime powers. Each of them want the United States off their backs. Each of them see the U.S. as a threat. One country which is not a maritime power and has no interest in being a maritime power is Poland. It's afraid of Turkey it's interested in the United States. And so there's a natural coalition between the United States and what I'll call Eastern Europe, for the sake of discussion, uh, and between, Pol uh, between Turkey and uh, Japan. And so, as normally happens in a war, the weaker powers have to strike first. Uh, simply because they're weaker, they must have the element of surprise before the more powerful country strikes. The center of gravity of American military power right now is located in space. Everything from navigation to communication to intelligence operates in space. If any power were to knock the United States out, it would have to knock out our space-based assets. So today, any war with a peer power would begin with what's called the Space Pearl Harbor, which is whoever it is, Russia, China, anybody who'd want to, would have to blind us. By 2050, this is simply going to become more intensely the case. The biggest surprise is the speed at which these things are happening. In the book uh, I wrote before it was published that Russia would invade Georgia. I had to change that before the book was published to Russia has invaded Georgia. The speed at which Turkey is emerging as a power. The speed at which the American-Polish relationship is emerging, the amount of time the Americans are spending on that. 
that surprised me, uh, the speed at which Russia is reemerging. So when I wrote these things, my expectation was that some of these things would take 10, 20 years to be noticed. And they certainly haven't matured, but they're underway already.